what? Burke Avenue, Avenue ma'am. They shooting. You said 641 Burke? Burke Avenue. Yes, okay. ma'am. They you shooting. See I think okay. I'm not I think some people got shot. Yes, I think some couple of people that got, got shot. Okay. Chilling moments early Sunday morning in Jonesboro after a man shot several people, killing two and himself. We obtained the 911 calls and radio traffic of the Burke Avenue shooting through a Freedom of Information Act request. K8 News anchor Macy Davis brings us the frightening moments of party at a warehouse turned into a violent shooting. And we want to warn you, some details in this story are graphic. Someone got shot in the head. Hey, son, I need, I need the ambulance. The police, somebody, please. A man calling police Sunday morning to report the shooting on Burke Avenue. Dispatchers trying to figure out the severity of the scene as police respond. So it's a male and, and two females. So three people have been shot? Yes. Not knowing that in the end, police would find seven shot, three of them killed, including the suspect. A preliminary incident report says 32-year-old Terrell Moody of Jonesboro is suspected to be the instigator. Moody, Amari Giles, and Dwight Starks died. We know one woman, Deja Giles of Jonesboro, was also taken to a local hospital and then later transferred to the med in Memphis. It's a male on the inside. It's a female in the middle of the doorway. One of the callers left in shock, explaining the party was peaceful. It was a party. It was a, it was a party. It was a, it was a party. It, it was so, it was, it was a nice, it was a nice vibe. It has been going on for, for hours. No arguments, no good fight, no nothing. And then out of the blue, it's good fight started going, going on. As more people call 911, the dispatchers help them get to safety. I have, ma'am, I have your location. Just come stay, stay in the house. Wait. Hi. No, don't go out there. Don't go out. Don't go out. No one go outside, okay? Emma, please. Emma, please. Emma, don't go out there. One of the most heart wrenching moments that morning a caller finding someone she knew shot and not responding. Just heartbreaking. Jonesboro Police released this afternoon the state crime lab the confirmation that Moody died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. They also said they are looking for his gun. They believe someone else took it from the scene. We still don't know what led to the shooting, but police say if you have any information, they need you to call them at 870 935 one zero. 